Okay, um, so let's try this uh, problem here. It just says identify the stereo center, uh, stereo centers in the following molecule um, and label them by using an asterisk. So kind of like what we did over here, we found the stereo center, we put an asterisk in, okay? So remember, what is the stereo center? Carbon or any atom with four different groups on it, okay? So it's gonna be a tetrahedral arrangement, okay? So do we have any of those here? Four different groups, okay? So there's two that are kind of good candidates, right? Hopefully everybody sees that those two. Let's um, just draw the hydrogens implicitly in there, okay? So we'll show that this molecule has hydrogens in it. Okay, everybody's okay with what we've done so far, right? Yeah. Okay, so when we look at this group here, what is that? Can anybody tell me? It's CH2. CH2 or a methylene group, right? So that definitely does not have four different groups on there because there's two hydrogens. Everybody's good with that, right? Mm -hmm. Same with this one, same with this one. Everybody's okay there, right? Okay, so what I want you to know is that even though this is a methylene, this is a methylene, these two groups are different, okay? And I'm gonna prove that to you, okay? So in other words, if I'm going to label the stereocenters, that's one there and that's one there, okay? So now let's prove to ourselves that the two are different. Okay, so um, clearly the chlorine and hydrogen are different, and clearly they're different than a carbon or a carbon. Okay, so we start there. Now we look, okay, is there a difference between these two groups? This group's CH2 and this group's CH2. So there is no difference right now, okay? So, since there's no difference right now, we have to move to the next carbon down the chain, okay? So, no difference, no difference, now we're at this carbon, okay? And this carbon, okay? This one's a CH2. What is this one here? CHCl. CHCl. Is that different than a CH2? Yes. Yes. So, these two groups are different, okay? So, that's a stereocenter there, okay? And the same logic applies going the opposite way. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so you have to you have to just accept that that's the case. Okay, they are different. Um, now, some of us wanted to do R and S on this one. Okay, this molecule, even though it has stereocenters, is not chiral. Okay, why? Because it's a meso compound. Okay, it's got that internal plane of symmetry. So what happens is the R and the S stereocenter actually cancel each other out. So remember what I said, chiral doesn't mean it has a stereocenter. It means that it rotates plane polarized light, okay? Something that rotates plane polarized light will have a stereocenter in it, usually, or it will, okay? As far as we're concerned. Um, what happens here is that these are opposite and, and equal and opposite in rotation, so they cancel each other out, okay? So it's like this is the positive, this is the negative, or vice versa, okay? So now we have to identify, well, which one's the R and which one's the X, okay? Because one's one and one's the other. So how do we identify that? Well, first we put the smallest um, group to the back, okay, which we already have. The hydrogen is in the back. We'll do this one first, okay? So now we go, okay, um, we have to prioritize the remaining three groups, okay, as one, two, and three, okay? So the first group, the biggest group, is chlorine, okay? Why do I say that? Because I look on the periodic table, chlorine um, is, has the highest uh, atomic weight out of the three remaining atoms, carbon, carbon, and chlorine, okay? Is everybody okay with what I've done there? So that's number one, okay? Now we go to the second and third groups and try to identify which one's bigger. Well, carbon and carbon, they're the same, so we gotta go to the next one, okay? Carbon and carbon, they're the same, so we gotta go to the next one. Carbon and chlorine, well, chlorine's bigger than carbon, so this is two and that's three, like that, okay? Is everybody okay with what I did there? So now we're going to just uh, make a little arrow, okay? So going from one to two to three, like that. So is that clockwise or counterclockwise? 
Clockwise. counterclockwise. So that's sinister S. Okay. So that's the S stereocenter. Okay. So now let's do it over here. Prove to ourselves that this is one's going to be R. Okay. So what do we say? One is there. Everybody right? Everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. Two is up there, right? Just by the same analysis as we did over here. And three is there. So one, two, three. What is that? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise. Clockwise. So that's R. Okay. Ain't no thing. You just gotta flip it to where the smallest priority group is in the back. Okay. Any questions on that? Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much.